Hey, how's it going everybody? So welcome to the YouTube channel of Petroleum from Scratch. I am Jayesh Char and this is our Streamlit app course. So till now, we have uh, developed our app in our local system. Now I have to deploy it in some cloud system or, or we are going to use Streamlit uh, here only for deployment also. So how to deploy this particular app? So first of all, let's go to our Streamlit website. Here there will be option of sign up and sign in, right? So you can sign up by using your Google account. I've already signed signed up inside this Streamlit community. So I am just using uh, sign in. And once you sign up by using your Google account, it will show this type of page where all your previous apps will be shown. So here you can see this pressure profile app I have deployed earlier that it is showing here, showing me here. And once I will click on this app, you will see it will come. So this one is running at this particular server. So anyone that is having this particular link can assess my this particular app. So in a, this similar way, you can uh, you can also deploy your app because currently what is happening now, this main, this is, you can see local host is there. So this is running on your local system. Anyone else cannot assess this particular app. And also if I'm going to stop the terminal here, the terminal that is running that was running on which that has provided me the local host once i have stopped now if i go to this particular local host itself it will throw me an error 808 not found because i have stopped that particular host right so now how to deploy your app on the global server here you can see you will see this particular new app option just press it press this new app now your GitHub need to be linked with your Streamlit, uh, Streamlit, this website itself. So it will provide you link for uh, linking uh, for linking your GitHub profile by just clicking on the next next button. You can link your GitHub, and once your GitHub is linked, it will show you different different repositories name inside your GitHub uh, where your code is per, uh, lying, and it will directly pick up that particular code. So for this particular app here, you can see the local host I've stopped. Let's open GitHub first and put all our code there. GitHub.com. And inside it, going to your profile. You can also, uh, you need to create a new repository. So go repository, click new. Right. So let's name this repository Petroleum from scratch stream later. Right, just we can you can mention anything in the description. Streamlit app course. Let's write it. Right, and I'm going to make it public so that uh, Streamlit can pick up from there. Let's add a readme file also and create our repository. Now, in inside this repository, you need to add the file, the py script that we have created. This main dot py. With the requirements.txt file. What is this requirements.txt? Let's first of all create a requirements.txt in the same folder itself. So basically, inside this requirement.txt, we need to mention the libraries that we are using or the libraries that need to be used when we are deploying it all in the online server. So there's so that those particular libraries are installed in those servers. And our code can pick up those libraries because in my local system, as you see, uh, you have, as you have seen, Matplotlib, NumPy, and Streamlit are already uh, installed. But in the server, cloud server, they need to be installed, right? So uh, as we are deploying in the Streamlit server itself, Streamlit will be installed there. By default, we just need to provide NumPy and Matplotlib. So here in my requirements.txt file, I'm just mentioning NumPy and Matplotlib just simple as that now this particular thing has been saved now what we can do let's go to our github uh, github repository link here just let's upload these files in this rep repository directly it will give you option for choosing your files so let's get it here so these are my two files Let's upload them. Also, let's add a commit message here, version one. Commit changes. 
and your files will be uploaded here. You can see your main.py has been uploaded, the code that we have written, and your requirements.txt file is also uploaded. Now let's go again towards Streamlit page of uh, deploying an app here. If I'm going to refresh it, let's refresh it. Right, it will show me different different repositories that are present inside my GitHub, right? So this particular repository that we have just created, I'm going to select this because my uh, .py file is present there that is responsible for the deployment. So I have uh, selected that. After that, you can also take the branch. There can be different, different branch. You can also take the branch in which branch your file is present. So our uh, file is present in main branch only. And after that, you just need to mention the file name. So my file name is main.py, right? So just by selecting this, you can also go in advanced setting for setting the Python version if your uh, file is working in some specific version only. Yeah, but need not to change if you don't know the version. And just click on deploy and your deployment will start. It will take a little bit of time. You can also see the complete deployment process from here by seeing the logs, what is happening. So you can see the all the things are requirements from requirements. It is kind of taking up the main main libraries that need to be installed. So it is installing them, making your system ready for the deployment. And you can see all the logs here. You can also add log files for yourself if you want to see them. But yeah, that is not necessary at this point in time. And here your app is deployed. You can just run it. And you can see it has been deployed. And you can share this particular link with anyone. And he can also assess your app. So in this way, uh, in this course itself, we saw how to make a Streamlit app and how to deploy it in on the server. So you, you can create your own different, different reservoir engineering app, different, different data science apps also. So basically a way for converting your Jupyter notebook into a particular app. I hope you guys like this particular course. And uh, if you like the course, please subscribe to the channel because we will be coming with more interesting uh, uh, stuffs in the near future. Till then, happy learning. Bye-bye. Take care. And happy new year, guys.